Hey everybody, Godric Gray here from Dragon Masters with help from Project GP. Today we're bringing you a new video about the double strand serpent weave. Now, we've made a few videos in the past where we do just the single strand serpent weave. Uh, if you remember, that one is where you take one strand and you will weave it back and forth over and over and over again to get the whole length of the belt. Today we're going to show you what to do on how to do the double strand. Now, uh, what this looks like when you do it, this one's a, a paracord belt. This particular weave is great for when you want to trim a belt, whether it's uh, with the night colors or whether you're making a man-at-arms belt or whether you just want a bunch of different colors and you want the ends and the edges to be the same, but you want the pattern itself to be a vertical pattern instead of a horizontal pattern. So generally, when I am working with paracord, I will use just the single strand. Uh, it's an easier weave for me, it takes less time, it takes up less uh, material, it's just easier overall. But if I want to make that same design in macrame, I almost always will use the double strand. Reason being is if you do the single strand with macrame, the tension gets all wacky and it's really not, it doesn't look good. Uh, so with the double strand, you want to, in macrame, you want to use the double strand weave. So. I've got one set up here, just some random colors. Uh, with this, I've got uh, some orange on the edges, an orange in the middle, and then some blue. Uh, what you'll want to do, instead of in the single strand, where you will be weaving one back and forth, you're actually going to be taking your middle strands and weaving them back and forth. So you're actually going to be weaving two strands back and forth instead of just one. So what you're going to want to do on your belt, if you're making a normal macrame belt, all of your uh, strands here will want, you'll want to be between seven and eight yards long, uh, just like normal, depending on how long you want the end result to be. Uh, this middle one, you'll want to make probably 12 to 14 yards long, uh, maybe even a little bit more than that if you're doing a really long belt. Uh, be, but this one needs to be twice as long as what, you, what it normally is because you're gonna be weaving back and forth. So what you'll do, uh, you will start by setting it up however you want it to be, Remember that on this weave, these colors are going to go down all the way. Ignore the orange. You won't see the orange, so it'll, it'll look more like that. Um, and then this will just continue down for the full length of the belt. So what you're going to do to start with, you're going to take one of your strands and you're going to weave it to the left. So just like everything else, you're going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, and then just pull it off to the side for now. Uh, I've just got a shorter thing here too for the example. This isn't the full length of what a belt would be. So then you're gonna take your other strand here and do the same thing going to the right. So this last one was uh, over, so you're gonna start with under going this way. So under, over, under, over, under, over. Pull it all the way out. At this point, you'll want to tighten it. And then now, this is where it gets a little different from the normal one. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna start by taking everything that, was, that had just happened on the previous strand and flipping it. So just like normal, we're going to go under, over, all the way through. And then, what you're going to do when you have that, you're going to kind of separate them out a little bit. Um, and then you'll lift it up and down like that. So you have all your strands going one direction and all the strands going the other. You'll take your one from the left, bring it over. You'll take your one from the right, bring it over, bring it back down, tighten these up, and set them off to the side for now. This one does take a little bit more time to go back through and tighten and make sure that the it's all good tension-wise, which we'll get to that here in just a minute. Um, but then you'll want to go back through and just make sure that everything is nice and tight. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go over under, doing another... Uh, another section here. Now what I generally do is after each strand here, you can kind of see where it's going back and forth. Um, I will, when I have the up and downs here, I will take them 
and I will pull as tight as I can get, which will uh, try, which will do help you keep the tension how you need it. So what you want to do with these, um, every time you take your end strand and you are going to send it through the hole that you have created, you need to make sure that it wraps underneath this bottom one here uh, as you send it through. If you don't do that, the whole weave won't work. And then same thing on this side. This one needs to come up and over. You can see where it's just based on what the last strand was. So because this is underneath, it needs to go up and over and through. So now you can see we have two layers of the serpent weave, two, two strands of it in. So what you're going to do now is go back through and tighten this. Generally I have this on my toe um, to start this. After that you can wrap it around your leg. But what you want to do is go back through and tighten these. So what we'll do now, we're just going to tighten that here. That first layer is now tight. I'm going to take the second layer, tighten it up some more. You can start to see it taking shape. You do have to go back through and do this on every one though. So we'll go ahead and do the second layer or the or the next little bit here, under over all the way through. Tighten. Take your ends, send them through. Straighten everything out. Then go back through the next two or three up. Rows up. Go back through and tighten. So again, this is a just a sample, so it's a little bit thinner than what most of your belts would be. But you get the point. Every time you're going to go back through and go up two or three, and make sure that they're tightened all the way down. We'll do one more here for you. So we're going to go do your over-unders. Tighten. Then you're going to send it through. Send this one through. We're going to go back up a couple of layers, tighten them up, tighten it up, tighten it up. And then as you go, you'll want to pull your strands to keep the tension tight, um, as tight as you can, at least for this part. So we did, we just did three layers here, and uh, you can kind of see what it's starting to look like. One of the cool things about this, when you do the double weave, that is a little bit different than the single weave, uh, it, does, it makes a chain pattern that is on every single one. So that's something a little different from the single. Um, but you get, you get the point here. You go back through, make sure that you tighten up the edges each time, and that you are also tightening, pulling your extra strands every time. And that's how you, you keep the tension the same all the way through. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. My name is Godric Gray. We just went through how to do the double strand serpent weave. Let me know in the comments if you have any other things uh, weaving related, belt related that you want to know about uh, in knots, particular weaves, how I do anything on the belts that I uh, that I make. Uh, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook for all things that have to do with paracord and macrame weaving for Amp Guard, Dagger here, and Bellguard. Thanks, guys.